can see all of um, question two. I don't know what was going on earlier, but here it is. It says, by solving the equations of the system, graph the points common to the line with equation x minus y equals 6 and the circle x squared plus y squared graph the line and the equation of the points. Okay. So first of all, let's just solve the equation. First of all, I'm going to write this as y equals negative x minus 6. And then I don't like that. Let's rewrite it as since we can plug in for x or y, let's not do that. Let's solve it for x. So that'd be x equals y plus six. Just move the y to the other side. I just don't like working with negatives, so let's do that. So if x equals that we're going to say y plus 6 squared plus y squared equals 26. Well, y plus 6 squared is simply y squared plus 12 y plus 36 plus y squared equals 26. And as we solve that, it will be 2y squared plus 12y, move this 26 over here, it'll be plus 10y. No, 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 plus 10, just plus 10. Now, since I know that all of those are divisible by 2, I'm just going to divide by 2, and I'm going to have y squared plus 6y plus 10. And, nope, not plus 10, plus 5. Sorry, I knew that wasn't going to work out. That's fine. That will work out. We have y plus 5, y plus 1. So the y's are negative 5, and y is equal to negative 1. So since we know what the y's are, let's solve for the x's right here. Well, negative 5 as the y will be the x of 1, and negative 1 as y will give us an x of so there are your two points. Okay, now if I graph that, let me try and graph it over here. I'm going to have negative 5, negative 1, and Now, if I go back to my original equation and I plug in 5 for x, I'm going to get 1 for y. And 
and then so somehow, some way, this would have to be a circle like that. Well, or that works out just like that. That's a good enough sketch for me. Okay. Right. Page seven. I can't see this. Side. Okay. Number three. It says graph the line and the circle. Find the solutions. Right. I'm not finding the solutions, so that makes it a lot easier to um, know where to graph it. So if I did this, I'm going to have to, let's set it equal to, uh, just set it equal to y, I guess. So we're going to have 6y equals negative 5x plus 12, divided by 6, divide everything by 6, y equals a negative 5, 6, x plus 2. Since I know what uh, y is, hmm. All right, let's plug it into our circle. So that will be 25 over 36 plus 4. And I'm also going to have that will be what? Negative ten over six. minus a negative 10 over 6x, so negative 20 over 6x. This is x as well, x squared actually. Okay. I don't think this is going to work. I sure hope not. So that would be the quadratic and five over six, five over six. I don't think it works out. Let me draw it over here. So I know my line has to get passed through two. And it's a negative 5, 6, so it's going to look something like this. What's the equation I'm at? Okay, so yeah. So this would be 1, 1, 1, and 1. And this would be right at 2. And my circle is only going to look like this. So this is going to be no solution. My line does not touch my circle. Okay. All right, graph the line given by 3x plus 4y and a circle x squared plus y squared. Find the solution. Okay. So uh, let's solve for. Wow, let's try this. If both of those equal 25, let's just set them equal to each other and see what happens. So if I do that, Uh, 
Uh, oh, that's what's my squaring. So what if I square root that and square root that? What happens? Oh, let's not do that. Let's do this. Get our x's and our y's together. So let's move 3x and move y squared. So let's be y, negative y squared plus 4y equals x squared minus 3x. I factor out a y and I get negative y plus 4 equals x times x minus 3. So x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. Is that those equal to each other? Plug that back in. 3 squared plus 16, that works. That works. 9 plus, okay, that works. So, let's, I'm going to erase this one up here. And we can graph the line. I've got to hurry. I only got 15 minutes on these videos, so I'm going to graph this line right here as y, y, y equals a negative 3 fourths uh, equals, mm, not equals, but plus. Twenty five over four. So that's what? Six a little over six. So this is six. It's gonna be a little above it. It's got a negative slope. And it I don't think this one's oh it may. No, it's got to at four. Three, it will. T oh, it's just going to be because the square root of twenty-five is five. So it would look something like that, and touch only at the tangent. Okay, at four three. Okay, so let me graph that a little bit better now. Now that I know a little bit more about it. Okay, if I draw my graph. I know that my circle goes to 5, 5, 5, because the square root of 25 is 5, so that's my radius of my circle. This is going to be a little bit above. 6 is where it's going to cross. And it's going to come down and barely touch at three and four. So let's act like that is three fourths, and that's where it touches. Or not three fourths, but three, three. That's where it touches, right there. Even though it doesn't actually touch, that's where it touches. 